I like to write songs from like where I'm at in that moment. And where I was at in that moment when I wrote Beautiful Thing was chasing my son around the house. <laughs> and he was about two years old and his chubby little legs, he's running from his sister who's chasing him of course with something to hit him. And he, he like banged his head and he's crying and one of the only things that kind of soothes him is if I would sit him on my lap and I'd play the piano. So I'm like, baby, baby, just stop crying, it's okay. And so I'm like, guy, and I'm yelling at her and like carrying him in and I'm sitting him on my lap. I just start playing this thing and he stops crying and I just started making up words and going along and so he's he's kind of on my lap and I'm grabbing my computer and I just wrote this first verse in this chorus for me I'm, I'm such a firm believer in that God can take anything anything and make it beautiful if you let him if you give it I mean Romans 8 28 is what it is and it really it really is true I've lived that I've been through that it's a fun song to dance to and people get to it but really the meaning behind it is is saying you, you, can't, you can't just let go and give up. You really do have to allow God to take that and make it something beautiful because you just don't know how he wants to use it. Put my heart back together. Fix me, fix me this day. Can you take a thought of how I make this broken mess a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing. I've been dragging peace, can you? Can you take a